Yeah, good afternoon. Just uh, starting this laptop up. I'm going to show you how to remove the hard drive on this laptop. Okay, I just wanted to prove to you it is working. So I think we are considered that it is working. And then we shut it down. It's running Windows 7. Now, when I turn this over, Someone said to me, why don't I sell this? But I bought this off of um, eBay just to take apart, really. I didn't buy it. It was working. I thought it wasn't working, actually, but that's another story. Um, if you, uh, when I turn it over, you'll see, uh, you'll see why I'm not going to sell it. It's running Windows 7. Let's let it shut down, and then I'll, uh, I'll turn it over. I won't say, tell you what's wrong. Let's just see if anyone can uh, pick up what's, what, what, why I'm not selling it, apart from the fact that the battery keeps coming out. Okay, that's now off. So I shut the shut the door down, turn it over. As with any as with any computer repair, you must remove either the mains and or the battery before you take anything apart on any computer any computer, even even a desktop. Obviously with a desktop you make sure it's unplugged from the mains. I always pull the cable out the back. Okay. So here we go. I'm just trying to get this a little bit closer. This is a I'm actually having to do this in the kitchen because uh, it's damaged, because uh, uh, our dining room has been damaged, so <laughs> I've got no choice. So what I do is, you undo these screws here, there's two screws here, they're a little bit fiddly, as they are on most, uh, most laptops. Now if you're actually totally de you've got lots of screws to take out, I always put them on a piece of card and I label them what they where they come from so I know where to put them back. And with this particular model, you need to get your screwdriver underneath, door comes away, and then you've got this funny contraption here. So you take that off, there's your there's your uh, hard drive. Now this is fiddly and you don't want to damage it. Uh, come on, come on. There's your uh, hard drive. So now you put it back together. Come on. Put it back in here first, actually. And then you push it in like that. Then back down and in. Now I won't put the screws back in yet, not until I've uh, restarted the laptop. I know it works. So turn it back over. Now, as I said, this battery is loose because the catch at the back is damaged. So I have to make sure the battery's in nice and tight. Just It's a right fiddly old laptop this is, but uh, okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's start it up once the battery, let's put the battery back in. As I say, that's one reason for not selling it, is the, bat the, bat the battery is loose, they drive anyone mad, absolutely mad. There you are, starting windows. So that uh, hard drive is back in. Once it starts up, I'll stop it. I'll, I'll stop it. I'll shut it down, and uh, I'll put the screws back in, and that'll be the end of the video. But uh, thank you for watching anyway. Uh, I hope it's been helpful to you. Uh, one day I'll run through the different makes of hard drive for you as well. But uh, I'm just doing something simple for today because I haven't got a lot of time. So. <laughs> But as you can see, it takes his time. As you can see, it's taking his time.
I don't know if you heard, but the phone was ringing. I need to find out who that was. Probably nothing important. Alright, that's it. Okay, battery out, as per usual. As I said, it's very important. So, then, put, put, put the screws in. They're a little bit fiddly. And then you just screw them back up. That's it. That's one. That's two. There you go. Thank you very much. That's it. Oh, by the way, if you're doing that, you'll need one of these screwdrivers with a little uh, little thing on it uh, to uh, to do that job but you can get them anywhere, so it's not a big problem. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Thanks very much. Bye.